Hi everyone, today we will be installing a privacy idea as OTP server on the Ubuntu machine and later we, we will use this as a radio server and will integrate to the Palo Alto server. And additionally we will integrate our LDAP server to the privacy idea. So uh, uh, our um, Palo Alto management IP will be 119.108 uh, OTP server IP will be 119.92 and our LDAP server IP will be 119.93 so let's start the configuration so this is my uh, Ubuntu machine that has IP 119.92 so let's start the installation so uh, first we need to add the repository so Oh, repository is added now we need to check the fingerprint of the key third step will be uh, we will be uh, adding the signing key to our system signing key is added now we need to add the repository for our release like in my case our release is 16.0.4 codename is Xenial so I will add this repository Next step, I will update Now it is updated. I will now add privacy idea Apache 2. So Now it is asking me for a uh, MySQL password for so I will assign a password. <clears throat> now next step uh, we will be installing the free radius okay it is completed Next step, I will assign an username for the GUI access of the privacy idea. So, username will be super user.
and for that user I will assign one password okay now from the IP 119.92 I should be able to access the GUI of the privacy idea so Dot ninety two HTTPS. Okay. Now I am able to access the GUI. Now I will log in. Super user. Now at first I will go to user, sorry, I will go to config and I will create one real M. Okay, now I will create a one LDAP reservoir. Now I am going to integrate a LDAP server that has IP 119.93 to this um, privacy idea. So my uh, domain name is mylab.local, my bind DN will be administrator at the rate lab.local, administrator is the uh, username and my lab.local is the uh, domain. Now I will assign the password. Next I'm, I will reset, uh, preset active directory and test if, um, for the LDAP reservoir. Okay, so the test is success and seven users are found on the LDAP server. Now I will save the configuration. I will go to this and uh, okay and I will uh, delete this one. Uh, okay, and, and I will like uh, uh, add with priority one, save the configuration. With real M is the real M's name we already created, and, and the resolver is LDAP resolver. Now our next step will be uh, to enroll the token for the user. So I have uh, successfully integrated the ID server. So if I type the user search with the username of the ID, then I should get like take dot dot user one. And for that user, I will assign an uh, pin code. For now, I will be assigning one two three four repeat one two three four and enroll the token now i have a google authenticator uh, installed on my mobile and i will scan the qr code now the qr code is scanned now i will go to the all the tokens and i will taste if uh, is authenticated locally or not so uh, I have to enter here pin plus OTP so pin is one two three four and from a mobile uh, OTP is one one four six zero zero yes okay successfully authenticated next step is I will go to the uh, Ubuntu server GUI and uh, I will go to cd slash and I will edit bi client.config and uh, my loopback IP address is 127.0.0.1 and Uh, for that uh, secret key is testing.123 
Next, I will be authenticating uh, the user with the OTP and the PIN uh, uh, with a local loopback uh, IP address. For that, I will use the echo command. So the user is take that user one that is on LDAP and the IP is loopback. Uh, secret key is testing one, two, three. Now I will add here pin one, two, three, four and the token from my mobile google authenticator 966899 okay privacy idea access is granted means it is successfully authenticated now our next step will be um, integrating this uh, radius server to the palo alto so for that palo alto will act as a client for this radius server so i will go to the client config cd slash Client.config. Uh, now I will add this. Oh, I will create an object uh, OB, and here it is the IP uh, of the Palo Alto, and I will be using the secret key test123. So let's copy this. Paste, paste this. Now I will save the configuration. I will exit. Uh, next step, I will integrate to the Palo Alto so radius 2FA radius application protocol. I will use PAP. Radius 1. 92.168.9.92 that is our radius server i have secret key test at the rate one two three at the rate one two three Uh, I will click OK. Now I will go to the authentication profile. I will name it as a radius authentication type will be radius. Server profile will be 2FA radius. Now allow list I will for now I will add all but you can use on the basis of user. I will click OK. I will commit the configuration. Meanwhile, I will log into the Palo Alto CLI. So radius server is configured now i will try to authenticate the user radius user using otp and pass uh, otp and pin so test authentication authentication profile will be radius the name will be one Password will be uh, pin number one two three four and the OTP. OTP is one zero eight zero one seven. So you can see the uh, um, authentication is succeeded for the tech user where tech user is the uh, user at LDAP that is integrated to our privacy idea. And the OTP will be uh, coming from privacy ID. So in the next video, uh, I, I will be configuring 
global protect and the palo alto and how we can use this uh, privacy idea as a 2fa thanks for watching the video